Hey guys, how you doing? It's Tom. The reason I started doing FFR News was to be a teacher. I, I have an endless desire to understand the world, and I figured there's probably a lot of people out there like me who really try to understand everything around them, and with so much misinformation, it's difficult. And you know, there's there are people like me who spend an exorbitant amount of time digging through information, trying to understand the world. And one of the things I've realized is it's very important to take advantage of teachable moments. Every now and then in my research, I'll, co I'll come across something where I could really demonstrate points that I'm trying to argue clearly through documentation. And sometimes you miss these teachable moments. And I've been so upset lately because Catalonia was going to declare independence from Spain. Right, Catalonia, I guess they're a province in Spain and they're unhappy about taxation and they're thinking about seceding from the country and forming their own nation. And this was a big story and people all over the world were talking about Catalonia declaring independence. And we really got to see through Catalonia the problem with government itself, the problem with the very idea of the state. You have these people in Catalonia who say they're gonna have a discussion amongst themselves and they're gonna decide if they would like to sever political ties with the country of Spain, with the state of Spain. And they try to hold a, I guess a referendum, a vote, where they get together and decide if they should secede and form their own union. And the government of Spain sends in, it's bad enough if the government of Spain decided they weren't going to accept the results of a vote calling it, um, saying that it was illegitimate. But that would be bad enough. But instead, the government of Spain decides the people of Catalonia don't even have the right to have a conversation, to have a vote amongst themselves to determine their own future, to be sovereign, to be free. To be free. So the government of Spain sends in their stormtroopers, they send in the police, they send in the military, and they physically beat the people of Catalonia simply for the idea of them voting amongst themselves if they should be free. Think about that. What right does any government have over the individual to do that? What is the government other than a group of people who've decided they have authority, that they are above another group of people? You're gonna have to get past my gun for that. And the people of Catalonia were beat back and then boom, what happens? The Las Vegas shooting. And I'm not suggesting they're connected. You know, I don't have any evidence of that. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, but I don't want to go spreading things that I don't have evidence for. But the point is that an event happened and then the world became completely distracted, right? Everything became about Las Vegas. And rightfully so. And then Harvey Weinstein, his scandal broke. I would love to know what really led to him being thrown under the bus because they're all a bunch of pedophile dirt bags in Hollywood and all of a sudden he gets thrown under the bus so I'm sure that's for a political reason of its own but it goes Las Vegas Harvey Weinstein and all of the attention was taken off of Catalonia and the reason this is so upsetting is Catalonia is such a beautiful teachable moment it's so beautiful the you could clearly point and say how wrong the state is this very idea that the state has power over people. We are, here's the thing about our rights as human beings, and this is why I say constitutional rights, in a way they extend to people who are even in other countries, that we have to respect these rights. And the reason for that is our rights derive from God. And what does that mean? Because the modern establishment puts down religion so much. Does that mean I'm some, oh, he's a religious kook, saying things derive from God. 
No, if you don't believe in God, then your rights derive from nature. They derive from simply being born. You have a right as an animal on this earth to be free. That is what it means that your rights derive from God. That the government, some arbitrary body that claims to have authority over you, doesn't decide what liberty you have, what freedom you have. Your freedom derives from birthright. It is a natural right, endowed by God, endowed by nature. And that's why if a people decide they want nothing to do with another people, in this case the Spanish government, they have a natural right endowed by God to separate ties with the Spanish government. And people all over the world were starting to talk about this, this idea of natural rights, because that's what the Constitution really is. The Constitution doesn't give us our rights. The Constitution restrains government from taking some of our natural rights that are endowed upon us simply by birth. And the people of Catalonia, you don't need a Constitution for that. They have natural rights endowed by birth. And as long as you, as an individual, are not inflicting harm on another person, or taking another person's property, then no government has a right to come in and to beat you or throw you in a jail cell. That's why the war on drugs is a farce. Because if I was sitting here smoking marijuana, which I'm not, but if I was, then I'm not hurting another human being. And if I'm not hurting another human being, I have a natural right endowed on me by God to do that. But government, people think that, because we're indoctrinated in the schooling system, that we get our rights from government. So if the government says something is illegal, it's wrong. Well, government is just false authority. It's just people who have gained positions of power through votes, which are largely controlled, with, through a two-party system, which is frankly a one-party system because the big bankers, the big corporations, they control all the damn politicians. And the education system's been hijacked, so people can't think for themselves. They're trained to outsource their thinking to authority. I'm going to make a video on that this week and make it very clear just how trained we are to outsource our thinking to authority because I figured out a good way to demonstrate it, so I'm very excited about that. So when I make a video on that this week, please check it out. Um, and then the media. The media, which is something like five or six corporations control 90% of the corporate mainstream media. Yeah, gee, I wonder why this push against fake news is being, you know, being perpetrated. Could it be because the people in power no longer have a monopoly over the control of information and they don't want nobodies like me talking to you about natural rights, that your rights are endowed by God, by your creator, by nature itself, that the government doesn't have authority to come in and beat you and imprison you because you're doing something that they claim is illegal? So anyway, the world was talking about Catalonia. The world was talking about natural rights. Who is the Spanish government to stop these people from seceding? To stop these people from being free? And we heard about, well, at least I was reading, that there was movements starting in Brazil where people were saying, wait a second, we can be free. And now you see movements in California, which is ironic because people in California tend to love big government and support the government taking people's rights, right? I mean, in California, they want to mandate vaccinations. Talk about not being free. An entity that calls itself the government can come up to you and say, if you don't inject toxic chemicals into your newborn child, this third party entity that calls itself the government will come over with a poison needle and inject it into your infant. And if you try to stop the government, they will take your child away and inject your child with toxic chemicals. This is the type of thing that's supported, and that's just, this is just the antithesis of liberty, the antithesis of freedom. This isn't the purpose of government. The purpose of government is not to tell people what to do or for, for me to use government to dictate to other people how to live your life. As long as you're not hurting anyone else, then you are free. You are free and you, you just, people don't realize how special that is until it's gone. That's what America is. America was an idea and it wasn't an idea that was practiced perfectly from the start. And corrective language had to be added in. It's ridiculous that language had to be added in that black people deserve these same natural rights as white people. That's absurd, but the fact is that the idea was right from the start, that that language has been added in. And now that it has, the answer is to limit government, 
to make government small, to, real, to recognize what our natural rights are, and stop asking government to dictate to everyone else so we can dictate to everyone what they can and cannot do. Our rights are endowed by God. And anyway, I was talking about secession in California. So it's ironic because now there's the, the secede movement in California. What are they going to secede and then implement big government? If you're out there, if you're California, for listening to me, I support your right to secede. If you want to leave the Union of America, leave. I just implore you to understand, take some time to understand what freedom is. And if you do secede, don't make a totalitarian state because five years later, you'll be bankrupt and you'll be looking to America. Please save us. Please feed us. If you secede, make government so small you can barely see it. Every day I grapple with the idea if government is even needed in the first place because with the problems it causes, there's a train coming, with the problems it causes, it might not be worth, the juice might not be worth the squeeze, so to speak. Sorry, with this train, it's so loud. I don't even know if you can hear me. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you today. I wanted to talk to you about Catalonia, about natural rights, that your rights are endowed by your creator, by God, and no one can take them. And if the government does take away those rights, and most governments in the world do, they have no just authority to do so. And if it were me, listen, everyone, be your own man, be your own woman. But me personally, you could take my rights away over my dead body with my gun in my hand. I love you. You're beautiful. We don't tell each other we're beautiful enough. But you should know just how beautiful you are. Try to spread positive messages in this world. Let people know that you are free. You are beautiful. I'm Tom Anderson, FFR News.